whenever you bring up like a shared thing that we know about, you have to then you have to be careful about that because you then have to take like 10 steps back and you have to like tell a story that includes right. all the context and you have to like we should have a background have the whole story. buzzer if somebody <laughs> so if somebody says like an inside joke or something somebody else gets to slam the buzzer it's the background buzzer and whoever right. told the story has to like backstep and fill everybody in you got the background buzzer well yeah. what what is it <laughs> i don't know whatever you want it to be <laughs> all right are you ready to rumble? Sure. All right. Hard start. Hello there. This is the uh, Unthink Me podcast. I'm, of course, Adam, and we have a different guest today, um, co-host, guest, whatever you want. I'm a co-host. <laughs> I'm a guest. Who's who? Look, nobody's here. Um, Hi, I'm Spencer. What are you? I'm I'm a Gemini. Um, I'm a female. Um, I'm the person who thinks my Going thoughts. For types, types. So you're a Gemini and a female. And I'm the person who thinks my thoughts. And you're the person who thinks your thoughts. That is that is a quadrants thing. That's a first person phenomenological phenomenological. Sit with yourself for a little while, bro. It's the spirit finger. Hey, it is the spirit finger. Your finger was damaged. Oh, we can show our friends um an odd lump. Look at that lump. It, it's that is an big. odd lump. Yeah, look at it. Isn't it weird? I work for, and um, I talk to people for a living. Um, so, she yeah, I think about censoring myself. <laughs> um, I I get to talk to a lot of different kind of people who need a lot of different type of things. So mm. I I guess my job's just talking. Um, How many type of people would you say? Five, uh, two million types, types. How many types? Yes, point seven is because that's gonna grab a couple percentages from everybody else in the group. Are there any astrological types that you don't interact with on a regular basis? Hmm. I don't see that many people born in August. Which, so which, is, which group which is, is that? Which is what exactly? <laughs> you and I both. Um, I explained to her the difference between an Iron Man and a Batman computer. In brief, Iron Man is Tony Stark and Batman, who is he? Because I'm, I'm a Batman. I do tech stuff and all kinds. All I do all sorts of things on my computer. I do like everything. Anyways, none, none of none of that uh, business around here. I will observe without a desire to change in any way that your screen is reflecting on your glasses. Oh, so and you, can you look see you look like a, my Halloween costume. This was the idea we had. No, because the Halloween costume, <laughs> you got to have the the screen right there and then the screen right there. You know, because eyes aren't cross eyed. Unless you want to be that way. Back, background back, button? Background buzzer. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to be the purple guy from from the mini games in Five Nights at Freddy's because that seemed simple. I just cover myself in purple. And then she came up with the idea where we're going to put sunglasses on and just like a little white sticky on the side. And that's what the glasses look like right there. Full circle. It's the meta podcast. That's what we that's what we're going to do. We're just going to do it. Like, it is it's it is said it is known Galisi. this is our first time making the podcast together before he's had another friend james but um it's the first time this is the it's first, the first one. time with spencer and adam this and, is uh, the first podcast hello we came up with this idea that we were going to talk about what a, how we're going to podcast on on um on the internet for you to watch in as much as we are aware, nobody else has yet thought of this idea. So we're protecting it very carefully and we're sharing it with you today. We're calling it podcasting. Hanging out, having fun, Goonies. That's a part of the model. Um, the other part is to apply your own uniqueness, which is valuable and special to the quest of podcasting for people that share the, the horrible tragedy of uniqueness. Which is everybody. I hate to break it to you, but Thank you're unique. You. Closing the um, loop. I was like, now Spencer, you see that gun up there, up on the mantle. You never touch that gun. It's very dangerous. It could kill somebody. And so, of course, I had to touch it. Yeah. But I keep it there just in, just in case some damn vampire bat come inside the house. But that'll never happen. Not while I'm alive. That's why it's a water gun. 
Now I have retirement coming up tomorrow. Now look at these photos of my kids. Okay. All right, great. Now I'm going to bed. And cut. Thank you. Um, I did win an Oscar, um, I think it was two years ago, or at least I got nominated. Uh, me and Kristen Stewart. Um, you might have seen the headlines. Kristen Stewart uh, nominated for Oscar with Spencer. That was actually the title of this movie. It wasn't It wasn't me, but I'm going to claim it. Gee, I'm sorry. That one fell flat on me because I'm culturally unaware. Oh, uh, well, I was too until I saw a random headline that said Kristen Stewart nominated for Emmy or whatever it is with uh, Spencer. Kristen and I was like, hey, Stewart, that's me. She's an actress. Yeah. She yeah. played Diana Spencer in a movie recently and they named the, or I don't remember what the married name was, but before she was Princess Diana, now, she who, was now, Diana are you, now, now, honey, who are you talking about? I'm talking about Princess Diana. Oh, shit. Yeah. Before she was Princess Diana, she was Diana Spencer. And so the movie is about her not wanting to be married anymore. So they named it Spencer. Oh, and you and, came up with this crazy idea all by yourself that every time you explain why you're Spencer, you're going to have a different, genuine sounding story that I actually believe. Oh, yeah. Brilliant. Brilliant. I was I was named after royalty. Exactly. Um, we're related. Um, and Has she been dead. She been dead. Don't get me wrong. She's been dead. She's been dead a minute. Background buzzer. <laughs> How do you background bend it? Maybe I should explain it and then Ooh, you should explain it because I was really drugged up. With the water jug even. Let's <laughs> let's like, um, I, I, we're friends. We, we lived in a house together in Portland. Okay, now you go. <laughs> and I was seriously totaled and i got in a fight with a car and lost um Oof, yeah. so i was that's severely a, a broken deal. and i was on a lot of pain medication and adam thought it would be a great idea to I watch this movie thing. about yeah. edgar Allan poe mm. and but like his murder mystery novel things not his horror and so what was that movie called the raven or are we talking about with the homeboy we're talking about how ben dead he became a thing yeah, John Cusack. Okay, I, that took me a minute. Yeah, it was that movie, and I um, I was probably snestled upon you, and I probably uh, didn't pay perfect attention to it. Well, you weren't paying attention that much, and I wasn't paying too much attention, and then I looked at the screen, and there was somebody, it was like a crime scene, and someone had been dead for a really long time, or like maybe a night or something, and I remember looking at the screen out of nowhere and just being like, Oh, she been dead. She been and dead. for some reason, she Adam, she been dead. Been and dead. it became a thing, and we just kept saying it about everybody. Um, sandwiches. It's also a, a a minor groupie meme of ours to to just debt because we had the uh, friend with the Cambodian accent, and and debt is just when like something's done, like like if he didn't like something and it was in the house. He would go and open the door and set it on the porch and close the door. <laughs> it, it, it's debt. <laughs> and so that was kind of clumped on that the thing bent it. Like So I guess when I said it, I said it in a way that reminded you of the previous roommate. And I didn't know about that. So I'm learning these things today. You're setting up a, a veritable labyrinth, a, a, a minefield labyrinth which you have to think ahead. You have to do the labyrinth first, of course, and then you have to have people who know the labyrinth in order to lay the minefield, because how are they going to get out? Okay, so, and you're doing that with what you're setting up here in terms of the the back the background buzzer. You're giving that thing, this is like the, this is like the elite fire drill right here for the background buzzer. We're reaching into a beehive of background. That, I'm being poetic for some reason. I think it's because it's nighttime. And it's making well, me causing poeticisms. You're doing great. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, I love it. Thanks. I, I appreciate it. <gasps> you know what? I'll save it because you were about to say something. I was just going to say it might make us more, you know, cognizant towards it, using inside jokes in front of strangers. Yeah, that's a good thing to be cognizant of. You don't want the With buzzer? You know, keep yourself in check.
I like to have every episode. I like to have one little thing to kind of walk away with, you know, and that's a good one. Be aware when you be aware of context. I haven't struggled with this one much because I had it so bad when I was speaking twin language with my little dopey friends, which actually uh, James from the podcast is, it was indeed one of them in, in the schools, in the schools systems. And so we were, we had our little monkey gang and we had our little twin language. And then we'd go and uh, conglomerate towards like another human being that we're like, oh, this is an interesting human being. Let's integrate it into our Borg manifestation. And we're like, hey, we like do all our like things that we think are funny. And they're just like, what the hell? And they run away. And, and then we cry about it all night. Yeah. I mean, like, try, you know, school is rough. I mean, yeah, it was rough. But now <laughs> I'm that thirsty. I'm thirsty. I am, and it's pink lemonade. I don't know. I, I have guess... this thing. I don't know if this is like inappropriate, but I have this thing like, we, like we, if when you do that and it like tussles your hair, mm -hmm. that is just so like like it's so arousing. I don't not arousing, but it's so like sensual to me. I don't know why. Oh, I, not just you, I'm... but like anyone. It's just like a thing with me. It's like unduly enjoyable for me. Oh yeah, it feels great too. I I rather enjoy yeah. it. I have um, to wear these cans all night, but I applaud you, sir. You, you're doing good. Oh, I I don't know. I I feel like my hair didn't used to have like a, that. For people who just listen to the audio, that's that's not that is a genuine applause. It's a golf clap. Thank you. We were playing golf. I mean, I I don't know if you can tell. Oh, <laughs> there's a giant cardboard box on my bed. Because it's just a box. Like to sleep in it. It's yeah, the no, Metal it's Gear a, guy. It's just an empty box, so my cat oh. has something to sleep inside. It's just a and box. She's very just. She's very upset that I got rid of it just now, but oh, Shyla Scruffle. I feel like having an animal in this would also like really uptick the views. So I'm mm -hmm. trying to. Oh, um, <laughs> they have like a hairless beast that prowls around in their houses. It's like the size of like a tin can full of nothing. We didn't really, I kept interrupting and it was so frustrating. And then we didn't, I don't know if we, I don't know if we closed the lid on what, what you is, but I mean, that can be a work in progress. I think I summed it up. That can be developmental. Why, uh, um, how do we met a podcast? Because what's the goal of our podcast? What's the goal? Um, well, we want to, uh, we want to be like um, amusing for people who are in a silent place that want to have sound happening but not have it be too interesting that it distracts them from what they're trying to accomplish in their silent room, but also have it maybe bring them a little bit of joy and maybe have, have a little something they can walk away with a little feather in their cap, a little gum stuck to their shoe, maybe a little bruise in their belly, a little bruise, a little bee in their bonnet. Okay. A little, a little plug in their bottom. Oh gosh. That, a that's getting a, a little, bit rough. A little duty in the diaper. Um, I little, I don't know if I can. A little that. dust on the Bible. Oh God, Mer it might be a little dust on the Bible. But don't let it fool you. About what's inside. So this was a one of the cover songs mentioned in our um dance dance of all one of our multiple dance shows, and um, so they're playing. I, I was on the phone. With this one, I was on the phone with her through most of this music festival because it was more fun than than actually being there. So I was like on, on the phone. But when that song came on, we got into a row. We got into a real stiff row there because she was mad because she thought okay. that the lyric was, and she's probably I right wasn't. because she was a youth grouper. No. All right, you can defend yourself. Go ahead. I wasn't mad. I believed you, and then when I Google searched it, it said dust on the Bible, and that's when I got mad, because I was like, fuck you, I believed you, and you lied to me, and then I actually checked on, like, I clicked on the link, and it was to, like, an archive of misheard song lyrics, so it is actually dust on the bottle, but then when I typed it in a search, it came up dust on the Bible, which is an archive of misquoted song lyrics. And this is the danger. This is the da this is how misunderstandings can occur. Dream on people who think people people who think it's dust on the Bible. Dream on about that. But I, I checked my vibe, I backed up, and I said, I'm sorry, Adam. I didn't mean to yell at you. You were correct. 
The second time I'm admitting that you were correct. <laughs> I blame myself. Blame is unnecessary, though, so I don't blame myself. I revoke the blame in real time at all times. Blaming, revoking the blame. It's about taking responsibility, son. D taking responsibility for shit that people do that you got nothing to do with. Well, it's happening, and you're here. You, you, you need to weigh your priorities. And hold yourself accountable, too. Good golly, where did that all come from? I Should we know. just parent? Maybe that's what podcasting is, is parenting the world. Oh, shit. We're going to raise you up to be good little, what, what kind of, what, what kind of things? Contributing members of society. My God, what kind of effect do we want to have? Um, I imagine if we did have a kid, though, um, they would be brilliant, but they would also be all sorts of weird. Um, they would either do great things or they would take everybody down with them. You mean that if you and I bodily created an alpha? Yeah, I'd, you know, it would be Tilo. Un bebe. Oh, it Un would bebe. be Tilo. Yeah. Tilo will appear on, on the cast, I'm sure, at some point, maybe just as an image, but he's out there. He exists. And he might be older than me, but he is my child. He's a terribly interesting gentleman, so I, I hope he does appear on the cast. The cost. I'm sorry. Looks kind of like Kurt Vonnegut. We just named the thing. It's new. It's new. Like my camera, huh? Or my parakeet camera, parakeet yeah. camera, parakeet. You have Spencer. a parakeet, yeah? It's a little cheap, yeah. It's such a little wussy. Um, I don't think you're actually talking to a parrot, but the, the, the cat responds to in a um, come hither yeah. sort of way, okay? Maybe the full video, but that's uh. Chlor chloroseptic spray, so don't get too excited. Oh, oh chloroseptic spray is laying on the bed. Okay. As I understand, there is a, a specific song that makes your cat come. Did I make that up? No, it's correct. Am it I crazy? Up. It's oh. What's Up by Four Non Blondes. Oh, of course. Yeah. How could I forget such a thing? I, I tried to things. sing it, but she didn't come to me um, oh. because she's already here and she could see me. Oh, she thinks she's close enough? Yeah. Okay. Well, that would have been a fun thing, but some will have to wait until it occurs naturally. Yeah. We'll have yeah. to wait until she's in a different room. It, you're you have this platform right now and you can and we're meta podcasting and we can do anything we want. And I, I'm curious, what is your mission? Like what what's your you ask what's my goal? And I'm mm. kind of approaching it more with a mission with a uh, a set of guiding principles. If I could inspire a sense of sonder, mm. um, you what know, does that word mean? <laughs> well, it's knowing that everybody you interact with has a story and, um, you know, feelings Make a of genuine emotion. connection. Bing. Exactly. Well, they've all got thoughts and desires and feelings and like you're carrying your story forward every single day. It's always easy to see these people oh. as like, you know, just supporting actor roles but uh even if they're only strangers and you only interact with them for like two sentences they still have their own story that they're pushing forward with plots and complex story arcs and what i do every day is just interacting and bonding with people and even if i'm only talking with them for like 10 minutes i try to get in my in their shoes and you know see what's going on what they're struggling with and then you know see what we can do to make it better and I think it's a really cool way to live. So uh, I really don't do outstanding it. at making a genuine connection Bing, with people's. What's and the thing for? Because it's a principle that we've established that we have to, that, that because I tell stories about karaoke and making genuine uh, connections at karaoke and dancing. We're on a journey here. There's a whole journey going. It's not just me. It's all of us. We're on a journey. We're, We're doing it. Not right now, but later when you're watching it, you, you're meta podcasting. And we're so, going to watch it too. If you, if you post it on YouTube, you swap stories, we'll watch your podcast. Maybe, um, <laughs> you've no. already watched ours, so we've already won. Um, <laughs> a narrative based approach to peopling, uh, could be green meme. Because you're you're seeing um, the multiplicity of of people and consciousness and cultures, 
interacting, which is kind of like a higher form than simply like orange meme rationality logic. Like everything is kind of a system and, and, and it's more generic. It does, it's not as tonal. I think what green meme adds is like tonal. And I find there's like a little bit more the one beneath that amber meme, like the um, membership thing to make everybody feel like we're in a tribe together and to make everyone feel like we're in an in-group together is kind of the way that vibes out. And I suck at that one. I'm like awful at that one. I, I kind of, um, I would say I'm allergic to it. I estrange myself in that, in that environment. So the, those come out in terms of the vertical hierarchy. Are those Gemini traits in terms of the horizontal typology? It could very well be the case. I'm not going to lie. I don't know that much about astrology. Um, I oh, that's just, so Gemini. Oh, you know, it is what it is. Um, of course, because you're a Gemini. Well, we're an air symbol power driven by Mercury, who is a messenger god. So, you know, if anyone's going to know how to communicate shit, it's going to be the one that takes communications from A to B. We're a uh, dual sense um, symbol. Which there's actually a few. It's not just Gemini. Uh, Libra is also a duality uh, because yeah. you know you get the two scales, Scale. and of course the Pisces, the two fishies. Um, well, I'm I'm a I'm a dual I'm a dualism. I'm a dual. Are you Sagittarius? No, man. I'm I'm a Capricorn, so I'm a sea oh. goat. I want to think of it like a seahorse goat. That's what I like to think, and I I think oh. it flies too because it can be anything you want. It's a chimera. It's a chimeric animal creature. And what's funny is whenever you do a like a compatibility test thing sort of thing, and they're always telling me I need to shoot for an Aquarius, but at the very bottom of my compatibility, like the least compatible sign is Adam. <laughs> yeah. And this is true. We despise one another. This now, Spencer, hey, hang out for just a second. Now, you listen to me, you fucking wizard. My main defining traits are that I'm I'm stubborn and I'm flexible. Well, that's just kind of silly, isn't it? Because because they're they're fucking polar opposites. Oh, but that's that's built into it. So it's a thing in the opposite of itself. Shit's stupid, brother. Anyways, uh Spencer. Yes. Gee, I'm sorry I I snapped at you earlier. I was mad at a, a wizard. No, I thought we were mad together. I, I have I to be honest with you. There's going to be a lot of wizardry occurring on this show, and I'm I'm, I'm always going to be a little averse to it. I've been wounded by wizards. I've been Too many I've been, times. I've been maced by magi. I, 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 what's a word that starts with S that means hurt in some way? Uh, I've been, saddened. I've been um, saddened by psychics. <laughs> um, let's see. If it's somebody who's like actually taking you down. I've been maimed see. by mediums. I'm going to stop. I'm I'm just gonna stop. No, keep going. It's, it's not a bit. It's not a thing. It was cute. I'm just. It's great. childish. It's like, okay, do we have any five year olds in our audience? Do they like postmodernism? No. Do they like <laughs> meta modernism? Is, is that Bob the Builder? <laughs> you no. know, I actually had the Dora song stuck in my head, and I don't know a lot of it, but it's like, come on, Vominos, everybody, let's go. It's on my There's Spotify. really nothing to it. I haven't that heard sucks it. Sucks that the... Dora got hit by that truck. That was messed up. Just splattered on the pavement. It was a sight to see. What? Was this a real thing? Did you hear about that? No. Pavement pizza. Dora the Explorer. Dead. Pavement pizza? She been dead? She been dead. Oh, she Spencer. been dead. There. Now you get it. She been <laughs> dead. No, Ben does right here. Like your, yeah, your cat been dead. <laughs> She is not impressed. <laughs> is it a female? Is it a female thing to to be uh to to notice people as stories occurring in their own? For example, I had a lady I was interacting with, and um, she was kind of I don't know exactly how to artistically phrase it, but uh, she was. Did she have like need a hug syndrome? Probably. Okay. Um, Karen esque, if you will. I just was trying to figure out like how am I going to bond with this woman so that she'll you know like break her guard down and um Thanks. you know I can actually get in the creek and you know teach them what they had to know mm -hmm. and um I looked at her name and her name was relatively close to what my original name was and I even told her I was like hey I don't show anybody this but I'm going to show you and I like showed her my name badge and I was like our names are really really close Come to find out, she was from Tennessee, 
So not Ooh. too far from North Carolina. North um, Carolina. Her mom created the name out of nothing. I, my mother created my name out of nothing. Next thing I knew, I was getting all this information about growing up in the Appalachians and like, oh golly, like why she was in Oregon in the first place. And like, I just learned so much about this person that otherwise, if I hadn't have tried, mm -hmm. it would have just been a matter of me taking her paperwork and going, okay, you'll get a, you'll get a follow-up letter in like a month. And then having her leave feeling like she didn't understand anything. I don't know. I think I and think so. You got in things. there. You asked her some questions, some some numerical questions, possibly, but just questions that made her talk about herself. And you yeah. say it with me now. You made a genuine connection. Bing. I'm sorry. I I should have prepped you better for that. So Jeez. remember, I didn't finish the Five Nights at Freddy's videos with you, video games with you, though. And that is something I will always regret. Um. Nothing is better than experiencing Five Nights at Freddy's in real time without having to push my own buttons. Um, so you wanted to play all the games with me. I just want to play all the. I just want to just That's sit in the back thing. and be terrified while Adam played all the well, video games. I've got bad news. There's like thirty of those suckers now. There's so many of those. Fucking games. A, I'm, we're, oh. We were at like three. No, that's. God. I didn't mean to, but you it see happened. my mama standing behind me. Oh, your mom's behind you. And she's I'm gonna yell at me for swearing. You see your mama standing behind you? Actually, uh -huh. is your mama gonna watch this? Probably not. Uh probably if you post it on Facebook. Hi, mom. <laughs> Do I not? I'm I cannot. I mean, that I is don't a care. thing I typically do. She don't care. I mean, maybe you shouldn't because you said you wouldn't. And I don't mm. want her to see this whole part and go, Well, why were they contemplating letting me watch something? It's because fine, she said a swear. <laughs> it's clear in the narrative. She said a swear and she didn't want her mare to hear. And I was the well, one who even suggested it. Oh, because no. Because I'm a Jaomo. My, my mom taught me how to swear. I think it'll be fine. Oh, so we're um, good. Try to avoid it. Unless it's, you to know. punch small children. Um, that's a good idea. Um, you definitely don't want to punch anyone, no. but certainly not anyone. Lil with Lil no. Bones. And I'm tall, so a lot of people are shorter than me. A so mouse, though, that's okay. Uh, no. Not There's morally no okay, but it's legally okay. I mean, it's on a whole other tier from punching a little kid. It might become um, splinter. Yeah, and here's a suggestion. Maybe uh, pet it. Maybe yeah. give it a little pat and give, give a little, little piece a little... of cheese and make it stay better instead of worse. What's the hell's wrong with you? I was going to say a little nub, a little nub of Psychopath. cheese. We're doing a well-meaning podcast. Here's a person watching that punches mice. Just and you should deplorable. stop. I'm you telling stop. you, I believe that you can do better. The, 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 who punches the mice. forces that conspire to make people do things. Basically, the reason we're doing this podcast is for you. You. We need you to see the light here. We need you to come home to to the... To the side where people don't punch rodents. To the, to the light side. Yeah, we're going to be nice to... We're gonna be nice to critters. We're gonna let them. We're gonna sing and dance while they get us ready for balls. If there's a genuine need to get rid of them, you might need to get rid of some varmints. Meekly, we do that without pride and, and uh, joy. We take no joy in that in that business. I caught a spider with a red solo cup and a piece of paper at work, and I set it free on the bushes outside because <clears throat> spiders might grow into the spider equivalent of splinter. And yeah. Martial arts. That's masters. just awesome. I wanted to like me. I named it Pachetto. Oh. I, I thought you would like that Pachetto. Um, you just watched Pinocchio. I did. So it was. I didn't want to use the exact just same the name, but it was already like there. Mm -hmm. and I'm sorry. I keep touching my hair. It's like a knee jerk reaction. Um, I missed it that time. I'm, okay. I wasn't trying to do anything weird. It's just going to happen. I keep seeing like this one thing in the back of my head that's just flipping around, but it, it's going to be okay. It is what it is. Yeah, you got to yeah. really, you got to like dig your finger in the roots a little bit. You can just get a little and drift around. Oh, geez. Yeah. So <laughs> you're going to keep doing that. I'm going to keep doing this. You know, you're going to, yeah, your hair, it, you could do something with your hair. I don't know. I don't need to do it. You know, I just maybe a little, little, Fountain poof at the top, but I don't know. You look Burrets. really nice. That's all. I'm, you're look. You look nice. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Um, 
I've, I've been trying to drink. I mean, I'm not like I'm not fishing for compliments myself at all. Well, good because I wasn't gonna yeah. send it in your way. No, no, just... Why would you? I'm a. I'm a <laughs> and no. uh, it's not just like a Buddhist thing. We're not Buddhist. I'm just saying it's stupid. Don't don't hit little things. What what the hell? No, that's stupid. Okay. And we're both really tall individuals. You know who's so... stupid? Like little kids, they see a beetle and they just like. Pfft. Like, because they're dumb idiots. Yeah. Like, what do you... They don't know. You don't even... You're. I'm sorry, kids. All you children on the meta I'm podcast. just saying, if we're putting that rule out there, we're very tall individuals. We're severely limited by the people that we can punch in the face or any of the other parts. My goal is to, to meet a seven-foot tall individual, and then I will tell them it is on. I will get, like, the whatever the sweatband is, I will mm. have five minutes where I listen to Eye of the Tiger while I get pumped up and ready. <laughs> and then it's going down. But until that day, <laughs> I am not a fighter. <laughs> Somebody's going to redo Eye of the Tiger if they haven't already. I love that song. I used to do a cover of it when my band performed. That's amazing. Yeah. I used to do a, a cover of it in a class. <laughs> uh, so you were the teacher. Guitarist. Yeah. Okay. It is fun. We had fun. It's a good song. Yeah. And You're I welcome. forgot to mention that um, there is a magician. Mm. It's a tarot card magician. I don't know if it's. Oh, that's your. Card. That's you know. So you can you I, can magic it up, bro. I don't want you to be too threatened by the magician on my neck. Um, yeah. I promise I won't let it attack you. Yeah. Um, I know you were no, a little cool. worried about that earlier. And um, I would didn't. just or I was earlier thinking I would go and get a, a piece of jewelry with a scientist on it and put it on my neck. You should. But I was thinking I would do. <laughs> they sell this is scientific, all right? Parts. This is like a fractal pattern. Sure. Yeah. Science, bro. This was made you by saw... NDG. Neil deGrasse, bro. He made know. these. Oh, do you still have the earrings I made you? I have, I have a, a, everything that's survived the very oh, tragedies that have befallen me. I got dream catching. Yeah. I, I got such a, we'll, we'll, we'll go through it. We'll, we'll go through <laughs> it. I just stuck these ones in because they're my, my other favorite. Well, plus favorite. the dream catcher ones would probably like really get pushed in with your earplug or your headphones. This I is true. Recommend. They would not, they would not match the current look. They would be for a different. Curious. They would be for a more colorful day, uh, a little bit more of a retro, retro look, a little more of a traditional look. This is a meta I, podcast look I'm doing right here. I tried to pick something that wasn't too eye catching, but at the same time, I didn't want to be too, like, blah. Too eye catching. You fucked up. God damn it. So I'm a meta person. It's a meta person wherever it is. We are, we are a meta meta union. Whatever, whatever is in common between us is, a, is, a, is a, that that meta exists, and we're looking at it right now. So it's meta. We're meta to it. We're meta. We're we're meta podcasting that to our to our hypothetical viewers, which I believe they they're peaking at um uh, I think twenty twenty. But we're only three episodes deep in our release right now, and this is the eleventh. Let's if see if I'm I can get it to forty two. If you guys are here on that, um, tell your friends, tell your family. Tell oh, I them. Tell them to watch it. Tell, ask them, could you double it? Um, oh, that's a it that's a fancy number, twenty. How about forty? Mm. How could you do me a favor and double it again? Oh, I suppose I could. How about eighty? Could you tell us what you want to just talk about? What you want? Why, to hear? my good madame, you're quite good at math, aren't you? Could you double it? Forty-two would be Excellent. twenty-one doubled. Excellent. Eighty-four. Now, could um, you double it more times than I can even specify? Well. Well, yeah, because we talked about 21 to 42 to 84 to 168 to... By Jove, I've got it. 1,000. When you double number forever, you get 1,000. That's that's how many people we want to watch. And the reason... Times two. What is the reason <laughs> for that? Because that, that would be more fun. Get in here. <gasps> oh, no. Did it come? My cat, yeah, she came, but then she left and wanted to oh, drink my drink. She likes straws, and I like straws more. Gee, so, guys. the bitch best correct herself quick. Why do you like straws? Because 
I always feel like something's going to fall on my face when a drink is above my mouth. Oh. Yeah. Remember, I have like this eye phobia uh, where I'm like terrified of things coming into my eyeballs. Mm. There's that one time I had to put in eye drops and I, I like was sitting on the ground and like crying. I'm, like, just get one drop in my eye so I could stop. It was it was a big deal. That's right. Yeah. That is a terribly rational and reasonable fear to have. And I've known several people that have that. I mean, it's good that you wear glasses, given that you're so worried about projectiles entering your eye holes. That's why I wear glasses. That's why. <laughs> well, that and the blue light blocking thing. Um, um, I could use some protection myself. You should and I think I'd look think spiffy of. in some glasses. I think you'd look spiffy in some glasses, too. Just not those rectangular ones, because that makes you look like the cartoon villain on... Um, it's one of those child videos where they do math and they try to add things to go places. They're like scientists or something in a submarine, maybe. I don't know. Oh, this is a lot of info. Um, is it um is it uh the is it Peabody and Sherman? Yes. It, is it? No. <laughs> no, it's not Mr. Peabody. I looked it's, it up once. Um, somebody might be able to tell us. I is think it he's the like Magic School Bus? No, but he's a very Stein looking motherfucker because I think he's like green and purpley. Because that's what initially reminded me. I was going to try to Google it. I don't know. Um, Submarine mystery solving purple and green. Do you know at home? Do you know the answer? Ooh. (laughs) Let us know in the comments. Oh, I think I found it. Cyber Chase. And then let's see. Okay. Here we go. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Cyber. Yep. Oh, I, I'm. And see, you're totally really Iron stoked. Man. None of this is like. Uh, none of this is questionable. These are all perfectly reasonable things to auto-complete yes. with AI. Just, just don't look in the folder that says taxes. Why would we? Yeah. Exactly. You have 100%. no business peering into your private matters. <laughs> um, I'm trying to get a better picture. <laughs> and he's a vampire. He's a totally a vampire. We have so and... much in common. Like, but for some reason, you put on some glasses that are really, really small. And Ooh. when you put them on, for some reason, this guy is the first person I thought about. He's I thought got green he had onions glasses. for eyes, Ming. Yeah. It turns out he doesn't have glasses. So I was incorrect. No, but I can it. see why one would assume he, I mean, those are very glasses like eye holes that he has. That's uh, Rick and Morty for those of you who are living in a ro- under a rock and don't know better. And those, the, yes, work. I made it up for you guys. Everyone else, that was Rick and Morty, as you know. We're oh, doing it. We're we're splitting it off. We're segmenting our audience, and later they will fight to the death. Or they can all watch Rick and Morty together. Oh, and... they should have just watched Rick and Morty together. Why did they not just watch Rick and Morty together? Exactly. So many Doctor Bills can be saved. Just watch Rick and Morty together. Um. Just fucking watch Rick and Morty together. Just fucking watch it. Um, Unbelievable. Jeez, I don't even know why that upset me so much. (laughs) Um, You do a really good um, David Bowie accent, so you could probably do the... Oh, I was criticized for trying to do heroes at karaoke. Because here was... Hear hear me out. Uh, And... Pre-qualifying, you're not supposed to do this in communication class. They say don't like disqualify before you say things, but I'm going to do it anyway because because we're friends and it's safe. I had what there was multiple versions in the karaoke songbook of David Bowie's Heroes. I don't know what that means. There's different numbers, they're different providers, and they're different mm-hmm. lengths, and they have like different numbers of verses and things. Different keys. Yeah. But the reason I did it is I was just kind of moving around YouTube looking for songs that might be fun to do karaoke to. And I was like, oh, Heroes, like, would that be cool? And I, the one I clicked on was this version that I found really moving and it was really cool. And part of why it was really cool is I feel like he was really coked out or drunk or something. And he was kind of off a little bit and he was kind of barking it out. And I'm like, hey, I do that. that. That relates to me. But he was doing it in a way that like felt good and was passionate. And I was like, I want to do it like that. But when I did it, I, and I went down Tori, my, my my Disney singing friend that I made because I made a genuine connection, Bing. She <laughs> said that um, it sounded a little off. And I was like, dang, because Bowie sounded a little off in a good way, but I didn't nail it because. That's the problem. You weren't doing coke. You should have done coke. But just sniffed some coke. It would have been all just dandy. 
<laughs> you know, the cosmos without hatred. Oh, yeah. Diamond. Yeah, he's, I mean, obviously, that's the king of the, of the belly voice. Uh, uh, but the Bowie voice now is Spencer, I've died. I'm now a tea kettle. Spencer. I knew my tea kettle was haunted. Spencer, rub the schleem on the flebus. And don't don't forget to hash out the the Clebian all of us. See your eyeball. I know you're I know you're now Adam. I'm I'm not fucking with those Phlebas. Uh I guess that's a background buzzer. Yeah. Nah. Just in the Twin Peaks return, um Agent Jeffries played by David Bowie. There was no there wasn't a whole lot of um David to capture and and so he was a big black tea kettle. I did not remember that. It was hard to understand the entire thing. So if you missed Bowie's appearance as a tea kettle, it's understandable. Twin Peaks guys, check it out. Great show. Great goes, show. Goes forever, apparently. <laughs> no, I, I thought the last season was like the last season. Yeah, that's Are what everyone always them? thinks, but they're coming back. I would love it. They're coming back from the future. When are we going to get another season? It's not going to happen. They just did it because of the 30 years later thing. Um, his gum, I wasn't able to buy it in the stores. The gum that was supposed to come back in style. Mm -hmm. I couldn't find it anywhere. And I'm like... Are you still... Dude, you're still sharing the vampire screen. Oh, really? Yeah, I think so. How do I stop? I don't know. Do you see what me now? That's what... Yeah. So I think it's going to show that screen that whole time, which is cute. That's fine. <laughs> Good times. You guys missed it. I was naked. I was like throwing paint at random passerbys. Um, this one guy broke into the house and like we got in a fist fight and he was really I wasn't even mad. Toast. All of that happened, and I was just like, no, this is um this is how it goes around here. And all you guys got to see was a childhood um class thing. I'm I'm really sorry. I, I totally failed. Um you didn't fail. We failed. Woo! All of us yeah. together. It's urgent that I interrupt you because the time is now eleven eleven. Thank you. <gasps> Did you have more? No, I didn't really okay. feel it. Okay. Now, do you feel that we have meta podcasted? I feel like we did a good bit of meta podcast and practice podcast. Because that's so the title. Are... If it doesn't match the title, this is going to be weird. Well, be we forty percent meta. Forty percent. That's I good. Like... We did great. Yeah. Small yeah. victories. We we got 40% meta podcast. What was the rest of that shit? And the 60% was examples of how the meta podcast would play out. So if anything supporting content. Exactly. Um the You're saying what I'm saying. Exactly. Exactly. Was just exactly. Enforcing meta. Exactly. 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 Say it at home. Exactly. I heard they, it. They don't they don't like doing that. They don't do that. Well, they did it on my side. I'm always like, hey, everybody, look at my stuffed horse and pump your fist and say, yeah, every single morning. And nobody yeah. does it. Comment if you did that. I guess you could comment a puke emoji. If, if You know what? Just if you've been hanging with us this long, give us a puke emoji. Yeah, just give us a puke. We want to see a big old strength. We want to see the, the, the scene when Chunk's describing when he puked in a movie theater in Goonies and everyone got sick all over each other. <laughs> He was crying about it. I tell you, Goonies is an evergreen. On this cast, I say, that's what we're going for is Goonies. Goonies with Goonies? intellectual thought and integral and business. Because why not? I didn't get into Goonies. I think it was a little bit before my time. That's very Goonies of you. You know, some of the Goonies weren't even Goonies. They didn't even know. They had Goonies thrust upon them. Goonies were their little, little kid punk punk snot nosed brothers some heroes or some goonies are born some goonies um are made and some goonies have goonies thrusted upon them <laughs> and thine upon forsooth thine goonies thrust mm -hmm. upon me once again yes that is the end of that quote sing to me of thrusting thrusting and then diving and then swimming and then climbing aboard and cruising and then turning to the right and then giving me high fives right and high high fives left and then thrusting twice, and then and then diving and then swimming. Are you, what are you? Why are you acting quizzical about this? I don't know if that's the same Shakespeare that I read in high school. 
That's true. I was trying to meta meta Shakespeare it. Oh, how do you meta Shakespeare? How does one meta Shakespeare? I believe we've both failed now, sir. <laughs> how do you meta Shakespeare? I met a Shakespeare, punched him in the gut. <laughs> the, get, the, get rid of that in editing. I know she laughed. She did her best to make it look like it was an acceptable. It, it wasn't. I were aware of that. Thank you. Thank you for, for protecting me in this way. No, it was, I wasn't expecting it. Ah, thank you. What a terrific audience we have tonight. Well, great. Now we've met you and you can appear with us and with, yeah. with, with, the, sh with the show and we're meta, we're meta, we did a meta podcast and um, this felt very cohesive. You're very helpful in keeping it cohesive. It also helps that it's not 6 a.m. in the morning. For me. Yes. This has been awesome. Thank you for appearing and hopefully reappearing because we have yeah. lots of funny things and great things and good stories and crazy journeys and genuine connections to be made. Yes. Sign off. I'll uh, go ahead and start my recording. Wait!